Hi, I'm Yoshihiro Kanamori from University of Tsukuba, Japan. The first author is my EEX student and has already graduated, so I introduce our work on behalf of him. 3D terrain models are widely used in films, games, and VR and AR applications. However, such models are often created via tedious manual editing. To automate 3D terrain modeling, we raise this research question. Is single image 3D terrain reconstruction possible? So, our goal in this project is 3D terrain reconstruction from a single landscape image. Our method is the first attempt for this task, to the best of our knowledge. Here I introduce some related work. Monocular depth estimation is an active research field, and the recent, the recent approaches adopt convolutional neural networks for inferring depths of indoor and outdoor scenes. However, monocular depth estimation can only reconstruct regions visible from the viewpoint. As a variant of image-to-image -image translation, cross-view image translation can transform street and aerial views mutually with the help of semantic masks. However, this method is not designed for 3D and works poorly when applied to 3D reconstruction because pixel-wise alignment is not available, as I will explain later. Recent terrain-related methods adopt deep learning. For example, image-to-image -image translation is applied for top-view terrain authoring with sketch input. However, there are no other terrain reconstruction methods for, from perspective views. Now I explain the basic information of our method. The input is a single landscape image in perspective view, and the outputs are height and texture maps that represent a 3D terrain model. To simplify this task, we make the following, uh, following assumptions. We only handle sunny weather and ignore water surfaces. We exclude sky regions using binary masks and assume that the camera parameters for input views are known. This project tackles the following challenges. First, we want to reconstruct a complete 3D model, but there is no clue to infer regions invisible from the view input view. Second, input images often contain shadows and shading due to the sunlight, but for textures of 3D terrain, we have to remove them. Third, there is no public 3D terrain dataset for training our networks. Our solutions are as follows. First, to exploit the information of visible regions in the input image, we employ a three-stage approach. Uh, we first apply molecular depth inference from the input view because Pixel-aligned inference yields accurate values. We then triangulate the inferred depth map and rasterize the uh, triangular mesh from the top view. Finally, we impaint the missing regions that are invisible from the input view. For the impainting, there can be multiple possibilities for the missing geometry and the texture, so we offer multiple impainting results for invisible regions. For shading and the shadows, we employ GAN to remove them. For the dataset, we construct a synthetic terrain dataset using 3D CG software Blender. This is the all overview of our three-stage pipeline. 
this pipeline is not end-to-end -end, and each stage is processed separately. Stage 1 inputs the depth and color values of visible regions in the input image using respective CNNs. Here, we refer to a color image without shading and shadow as a color map. Stage 2 employs rasterization for generating incomplete height and texture maps. We first triangulate the color and depth maps and then rasterize the triangular mesh in top view to generate incomplete height and texture maps. Stage 3 fills the missing regions in height and texture maps using a CNN. For this CNN, we employ variational autoencoder to support multiple outputs to cover possible variations. To compose our pipeline, we use several network architectures. They are basically the state-of-the-art architectures at the time of our development. We possibly add some modifications and train them separately in a supervised manner. Specifically, for depth map estimation in stage 1, we used Sopen by Chen et al. For color map estimation in stage 1, we used Spade by Park et al. For the completion network in stage 3, we used Pix2Pix HD++ with two additional decoder branches for separately inferring height and low frequency height maps and VAE extension for multimodal outputs. We created a synthetic terrain image dataset using Blender with an add-on. For each input view, we rendered a set of images as the ground truth data for training. The numbers of image sets are as listed here. I introduced the data sources for our Terrain image dataset. We used a measured elevation data for the Terrain geometry, 10 types of materials created using Blender add-on for the textures, and HDR environment maps downloaded from Polyhaven for the lighting. Our experimental settings are as follows. We implemented our neural networks with Python and PyTorch. For the rasterization in stage 2, we also used OpenGL. The training times for respective networks are as shown here. We used the Adam optimizer for all CNNs. We omit the explanations of our loss functions and the ablation study due to the time limit. Please refer to our paper for the details. We compared our method with selection gen and pix 2 pix HD++. Note that they are originally not for 3D. For each method, we trained respective models for height and texture maps using the author's original hyperparameters and settings similar to ours for fair comparison. For numerical evaluation, we used these standard evaluation metrics. This page shows a qualitative comparison with the synthetic input shown at the top left. For each result and the ground truth, we show input views in the first row and overall views in the second row. The orange points and dotted lines in overall views indicate the input viewpoints and the field of views respectively. You can see our result is the most faithful to the ground truth, truth both in input and overall views. 
This is another comparison. As you can see, ours is the most faithful. This page demonstrates the multimodal result by the completion network in stage 3. As you can see, our result retains the input view, whereas in the overall view, the in-painted in region exhibits a diverse shapes and textures. We also compared our method using a real photograph input. The input view of Pix2 Pix HD++ is strange because the camera is buried under the reconstructed terrain. Again, our input view is the most faithful to the input photograph. This page summarizes the quali uh, quantitative comparisons. From these best values for metrics, we can see Overall, awards is better than the compared methods, both for height and texture maps. Our method has several limitations. First, our work is still in a proof of concept stage with strong restrictions. We want to alleviate them by extending the current model. Next, our model has a limited generalizability due to the small training dataset. For this, we want to enrich our dataset by, for example, exploiting Google Earth Engine. And our current shape representation, height maps, cannot handle two or more grounds per pixel. This limitation would be addressed by adopting implicit geometric representations. Now I wrap up my talk. We have proposed the first method for reconstructing a 3D terrain model from a single landscape image. We employed a three-stage approach and multiple model completion using variational autoencoder. For the supervised training, we build a synthetic dataset. You can find more information from our project webpage. Thank you very much for your attention.